This is Joshua Hart here for Seconds Out and delighted today to be joined by Liam Cameron here at the Steel City Gym. Liam, a very big week for yourself, some very, very big news has dropped. Just when we thought it couldn't get much bigger, top in the bid against Lyndon Arthur. You'll be fighting, as some people call you the Sheffield Better Bev, on Arthur Better Bev's undercard against Dimitri Bitbov. You'll be fighting Ben Whitaker. It's This is huge for yourself, isn't it? Yeah, it's good, you know. Do you know the funny story about this? I got told seven days ago, do you fancy it Ben fight? So I went, of course I will. Didn't know it were in Saudi. So I'm on. I'm doing the remote for, I'm not going to say dodgy box on here, I'm doing remote like this. And I couldn't get it on, so I thought, I'll take the telly off and I'll go on my phone. So I've seen that, tur that turkey guy post a picture, so I've zoomed in on my mush. I thought, wow, I couldn't believe it. Then my phone just blew up, keeps going non stop. So, is that when you found out about being out in Saudi when it got announced? You didn't, so, you just accepted the fight with Ben no matter where it was, and then you found out it was in Saudi when everyone else found out? Yeah, yeah, to be fair, yeah. And just what was going through your mind when you saw, obviously, you already knew you were fighting Ben, but you knew you were going to be on such a huge card out in Riyadh? It's what you dream of as a kid, isn't it? Um, being on big shows. If you want to be on these big shows, you have to box the good people. And Ben's one of the saying the best, world's best prospect, whatever that means. Well, how's preparation going for it so far? So you've known about this fight for about seven days now. We're about, I'd say, eight, seven or eight weeks away from it. Just, does it feel real yet, first of all? No, it's going to take a bit to sink in, but I've been training since my last fight, um, every day, twice a day. So it, it, everything remains the same with training-wise, just start sparring just a couple of weeks or something, or a week, but everything remains the same. And just how excited are you to meet, some would say, your twin in Arta Betabiev? Oh, going straight up to him, I'm going to just tap him on the shoulder and say, it's me, your brother. But uh, it, it, someone once put it on Twitter years ago and he retweeted it, do you know what I mean? So, so he's, he's aware of Liam Cameron, he knows that Liam Cameron is going to be out in Saudi. Um, talking about Ben's style, obviously we've seen Ben and just how much attraction he's gained over his career so far for his style. How are you going to approach that style? I don't know, I'll have to see what I feel on fight night. Do you know what it is? I don't want to give too much away like talk about his showboating because I might want him to do that I might not want him to do you know what I mean I can't, I can't say too much because if I said to him oh, I hope you do that showboating with me that means I don't want him to do it but we'll see mind games are starting nice and early here aren't they you know what you need to do um, and then obviously if we look at the year that you've had so far so you boxed back in February I believe on the GBM card then didn't you box then obviously on the matchroom card, then headlining against Lyndon Arthur, and now Saudi Arabia. It's not a bad first 12 months of you know, a full calendar year back in boxing, is it? When I boxed Lyndon Arthur, it were nine months of fighting, kind of thing. So people are saying, oh, Lyndon Arthur had a bad night. But don't you think I can improve from that if I've had nine months in five and a half years? Split decision. If Steve, if Steve Ray were doing refing, and it weren't a title fight, I'd have won that fight. What do you take away from that fight with Lyndon heading into a fight with Ben? It's almost, it's two fighters at different stages of their careers, you know. Lyndon's been at that top level bordering, you know, world titles and whatnot. He fought Dimitri Bivol. But then for Ben, Ben's on his way up. This, you'll be the most notable name on Ben's record so far. What changes in preparation when you look at these two? Lyndon's a really good fighter. He's, if you look at all his wins, he's actually hurt. Apart from Yard, he's actually hurt nearly every one of them. He hurt Bivolt at body. I know it was one shot, but he still hurt him. He could punch. Um, he had a good jab. Ben spins tricky and stuff, but Lyndon could really bang. And probably were troubled once in eighth, but. Uh, he caught me with a right hand there, just put my hands up like that and just see how that set, felt how I felt and I were all right. I stuck my tongue out and threw about eight shots back. 
And just going back to yourself, obviously, if we've not said it already, you are boxing out of Saudi Arabia. I know it still doesn't feel real to you. Um, but when you look at the comeback you've been on, you know, I spoke to you back at the beginning of the year about about your comeback, about the story, and this was before you'd topped the bill on Channel 5 and you've got a big opportunity to box on a matchroom card in Sheffield and now the biggest of them all, boxing on Riyadh season, you know, every every fighter at the moment wants a bit of Riyadh season, they can see how big it is. And what does this say about Liam Cameron and the story and the journey that you've been on? I'm going to tell you a little story. Um, Walked into this gym, no money to my name, um, didn't have a pair of gloves, didn't have no boots. Grant gave me some old boots, what, it's been in gym years. I was grateful, but like, been in gym years, had them on, had some gloves. And um, from where I were then to where I am now, people were saying to me, listen, keep working hard and you'll get rewards. When people say that to you, you think, they're just saying it, but it is true. And I look at me now, I'm not going to say how much I'm getting, but it's a good, good, good wike. I was going to say, I was going to say, I wouldn't expect you to reveal how much you're getting. For, but for me, anyway, for me, I don't know other people's businesses, but for me, it's life changing to me. And just how, obviously, you mentioned the money being life changing. Obviously, we know that boxing is a business, you know, especially when you do it at the professional level. Just how good is it to get this opportunity not just obviously for the fact that you get the privilege of boxing out there but all the money you can bring back to your family and you know you can really really provide yeah it's good it's good um, what can I say I'm grateful for the gym um, my sponsors RCP um, a joiner in company Ben he's a good guy he's helped me a lot um, Jamie Sheldon he supplies me with tape and stuff. Like, I ain't, I'm not really, apart from like people with money, it's only been like the giant refer and RCP, what I've given it me. So, like, it's been hard. Um, so, really, I could do with a few more sponsors on, on my jacket. But it's, it's amazing where I've come from, and it is a. It's just hard to believe it hadn't sunk in. Um, I'm not going to be like belittled by it because I'm fighting Ben Whitaker. If it was if he were 20 and 0, I'd be a bit worried. If he's not, he's 8 and 0, and he's not he's not boxing no one. His level will have dropped. In he won't know how hard it's going to be in that ring. Do you believe, and the team believe that you've got what it takes to? Not just be Ben Whitaker's toughest fight so far, but to be the man to derail the hype train. Amir Khan was the best amateur I've ever seen. I've, I've seen him on box personally, um, on shows. And when he stepped up, at that level, he, he got dropped by Willie Lemon and um, the Manchester guy, Gomez. He dropped him. So no matter how much you've won in amateurs, you've, you're still vulnerable. Everyone's human, two arms, two legs. And just looking at the team that you've got behind you, um, obviously Pierce has been a big part of your comeback story. And I remember seeing a, I think a post of his where he used to come and watch you as a fan and then fast forward down to the comeback, he is your head trainer. Just how good is this for not just yourself but the whole team? And, you can all enjoy the success and that's it. Normally when you get a fight, you don't talk about the success before a fight, but when you land one of these opportunities, you know you've done something right to earn it, haven't you? Yeah, um, with, with Pierce, um, I forget, he was, he was a young lad, what, he used to come to the gym, but he used to like running with me and stuff, and he used to take him up pads when he was little. And um, same as Dalton and stuff. I can remember Dalton's first day coming at gym with his granddad. Really? We went to cafe. There was this cafe where we live. And his granddad, um, he's a good guy, Brian. He's one of one of the best people in here, and I can remember it like yesterday. But with Pierce, um, yeah, I've helped him out, and he's he got into training, and. I, I come. I literally come down to gym, not to come back to boxing, to to see lads really, and to watch a spar, watch Dalton spar. 
fat as a pig. So like, I didn't even think I were going to box. And how thankful are you for him to, obviously like you said, you didn't think you were going to box, but here you are in probably the best stage you've ever been in on your career. I, I, I could laugh, do you know, we, we're saying it. I'm trying to hold my laughter in because it's crazy, isn't it? It is mad, but a year, it's been a year. Nine months of fighting, it's been a year, that's it. So I've changed my life around and win this and it'd be even more changed. And what happens when you get in there with Ben Whitaker? What do you do to him? Uh, I don't know because I didn't know I was going to do that with Lyndon Arthur. It just happened and I think he wound me up. I think he punched, I think he punched me after the belt, didn't he? he? Fucking wound me up. So my head went then, so I was just... No, so I'm not going to swing all law. There's not going to be none of that. I've, I've, I've won my ABAs and stuff. I've been, I've had, what did I have? Ten England international fights that I didn't lose any. So I've done a bit, do you know what I mean? Well, Liam, thank you very much for your time. And best of luck when you get out there to Saudi. Make sure you take it all in. And we'll all be watching you and watching you change your life out there. Thank you. Thank you.